no comment about what just happened earlier, but I found it quite hilarious. I am keeping my web zipped. Also, don't forget the marathon these MCU moments to prepare you for the WandaVision finale. And Tom Holland made it very well known that he wants to continue playing Spider-Man because his contract is up, which is a very smart play on his end because truth be told, the moment that you stop playing an iconic character, your movie career is pretty much done. It does not apply to all actors because there are some actors out there to keep finding the same type of roles from big franchises and continue to find work. However, look at Tom McGuire and Andrew Garfield, for example, and while they were playing Spider-Man, they did plenty of other films and got plenty of work. Now, not so much. And I mean, the same thing happened with other actors that haven't done any films in a very long time. Even though it was smart for Tom Holland to make that kind of announcement, his casting agent didn't think so, and I'll explain later as to why in this video. And the thing is that Tom Holland announcing this, it will make Disney and Sony look bad in case things don't work out, and the blame can be shifted towards them and not Tom. Also, the main fact that as of recent, the Rooster Brothers confirmed that Sony Pictures is very hesitant to want to cast Tom Holland as Spider-Man and or dragging their feet. The question is, who at Sony Pictures was not too quick to cast Tom Holland? I have the answer to that question as well as to what exactly Tom Holland's agent wants to negotiate and a new contract in order for Tom Holland to continue playing Spider-Man. Thanks it, Tiger. You just hit the jackpot. Woohoo! 